Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and I'm right here with Microsoft in Berlin. And this is actually the cheapest um, major brand tablet on the market right now, or coming out. In the US, it's already out for just $99, and it's the HP Stream 7. This device is pretty interesting because it's yeah, it's basically the cheapest Windows 8.1 tablet that you can get, and it's maybe even a bit cheaper than some of the Android devices in the same form factor and with the same specs. Um, because we have an Intel Atom Z 3735G in here, or I think it's I think it's a G model, it could be an F model. Um, there is one gig of RAM and uh, 16 gigs of flash storage. The CPU is a quad-core SoC running at 1.33 gigahertz, and this one goes up to 1.83 gigahertz on Turbo Boost. So performance should be pretty decent, at least in this form factor. Uh, the screen is a 7-inch IPS panel, so as you can see, the viewing angles are. Yeah, they're very good actually. So there's no color distortion or whatsoever going on, and the resolution is at 1280 by 800. So they're not pulling a Toshi bar right here, where you have the Excite Mini running at 1024 by 600, and they're sampling down the uh, software on the driver side. But this is really a panel that is capable of doing 1280 by 800. So it's a pretty good screen. It seems very sharp actually because of the size of the device. And it's also pretty bright. There is no brightness sensor on here, so it doesn't adjust the, the brightness automatically. It just stays where it is right now, and that is actually pretty decently bright. Um, let's take a quick tour around the device. So we have the VGA camera up top right here on the front, and on the bottom you get a capacitive Windows button, so that's a new, nice thing to have because the cheaper tablets mostly only have the buttons on the side. Um, the bezels are, well, pretty thin actually for a device of this size. So HP has been doing a good job on this. The device is, I think, just over 10 millimeters thick. And on the right side, you get the power button and the volume rocker right there. On the bottom, we have a single mono speaker on this one. And on the left, there is pretty much nothing. Up top, there is the micro USB port that is also, also used for charging the device. So um, there is no other way to charge this device through a proprietary charger or something. So you will always have to charge it through this, which might take a while. And it's also um, blocking the USB port when charging. There is the 3.5 millimeter headset jack up top, and that's pretty much it. On the back, you get a two megapixel camera, I think. Don't um, really count on that, but I think it's a two megapixel camera on here. Uh, the back is kind of a matte finish. It's gray with like sparkles on it. Uh, does attract some fingerprints, but it's also been through a lot of hands at the event here today. And this is still a prototype, so on here uh, the back is flexing a tiny bit, but that's uh, it's less than on the Nexus 9 actually. Um, here it says again, one gig of RAM, 16 gigs of storage, and there is a 3,000 milliamp hour battery on this device in this case. Um, so this is retailing in the U.S. for $99 right now, and in Germany it's uh, going on sale at the end of November for just 129 euros, which makes it the cheapest tablet on the German market so far running Windows 8.1. So I was rolling with Mobile Geeks, checking out the HP stream at Microsoft, and if you like what we do on our channel, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, visit us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.